Hi everyone, I'm Sean Shrestha and today I'm here to demonstrate the area of a parallelogram by using the paper cutting method. Here I have a parallelogram here with me with five units as the base, one, two, three, four, five, and three units as the height, one, two, three. With this, we know the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. Now we have a parallelogram. So we cut along its height. and place it on the other side, turning it into a rectangle. We know that the area of a rectangle is length into breadth, with the length having five units, one, two, three, four, five, and the breadth having three units, one, two, three. So five into three becomes 15. So now we know the area of a rectangle is 15 square units. With this, we can now take this part portion of the rectangle to the other side, which then converts into a parallelogram. With this, we now know the area of a rectangle and the area of a parallelogram are equal, which is 15 square units. From the previous activity, we know that area of a rectangle is equal to the area of a parallelogram. So, the area of a parallelogram turns into the area of a rectangle. With this, we know the length of a rectangle turns into the base of a parallelogram and the breadth of a rectangle turns into the height of a parallelogram. So now, the area of a parallelogram is equal to the area of a rectangle. And the formula of area of a rectangle is length into breadth, which then turns into base into height. So in conclusion, the area of a parallelogram is base into height. With this, we have come to the end of my explanation to the area of a parallelogram. With this, I hope you have understood how we can learn about the area of a parallelogram through paper cutting method. Thank you.